Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss one important problem uh, from uh, derivatives and in this session we are going to find out the derivative of this function f of x uh, which is equal to square root of x divided by square root of x plus 1 and we'll find out the derivative of this function uh, with the help of the definition of derivative which is also uh, known as finding out the derivative using the first principle right so let us start and let us first quickly see the definition of derivative uh, in terms of limits right now suppose we have a function say uh, y is equal to uh, f of x then the derivative of uh, y with respect to x is given by dy over dx and dy over dx is given by limit uh, h tends to 0 and here we have f of x plus h minus f of x uh, divided by h right so the derivative is given by uh, this limit so now uh, for this function f of x I uh, will find out f of x plus h right so f prime of x uh, is given by uh, this limit so we have limit h tends to 0 and we have f of x plus h so f of x plus h can be obtained by replacing x by x plus h in the uh, given function so we have here square root of x plus h uh, divided by uh, square root of x plus h plus 1 and then uh, we have f of x which is square root of x over uh, square root of x plus 1 uh, divided by h right so now uh, here we have uh, an algebraic expression and we have to uh, simplify this expression using uh, different techniques of uh, uh, algebra right so here uh, what we can do uh, we can take the lcm of uh, these two terms to simplify the uh, numerator so we have here uh, first we have h then we have square root of x plus h plus 1 then here we have square root of x plus 1 and then uh, we can uh, cross multiply here so we have a square root of x plus 1 multiplied square root of x plus h right so multiplying these two quantities and then uh, we have this uh, a negative sign and then we multiply uh, square root of x with square root of x plus h plus 1 right so let us simplify the uh, numerator so if we multiply uh, square root of x with this one then we have square root of x times square root of x plus h then we have 1 times uh, square root of x plus h and then here we have square root of x times square root of x plus h and then uh, square root of x times 1 is square root of x so here we have h and square root of x plus h plus 1 and here we have square root of x plus 1 so now uh, we can easily see that these two terms uh, get cancelled and we are left with the limit h tends to 0 uh, square root of x plus h minus square root of x divided by h times square root of x plus h plus 1 and here we have square root of x plus 1. So now uh, here we have a term uh, that is of the form that is uh, say a plus b uh, square root of a plus b minus uh, uh, square root of a. So what we will do, I uh, will rationalize the numerator and denominator by uh, the uh, term that is square root of x plus h plus square root of x. 
right so here uh, we take the positive sign and we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by uh, this quantity right so we have limit h tends to 0 we have a square root of x plus h minus square root of x then we have h square root of x plus h plus 1 so here we have square root of x plus 1 and then uh, we can multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of x plus h plus square root of x and here also we have square root of x plus h plus square root of x so now we can see that uh, here we have the product of these two quantities and here uh, the product of these quantities is similar to uh, the term that is a minus b times a plus b right where a is the square root of x plus h and b is the square root of x so a minus b times a plus b is equal to a square minus b square right so this is an important identity and here uh, the product of these two terms is square root of x plus h uh, square minus uh, the square of square root of x right so here we have uh, the square root get cancelled here and we have x plus h minus x so this x and this x get cancelled and we are left with only h so now this limit uh, reduces to uh, limit h tends to 0 and in the numerator we have simply h and here we have h times square root of x plus h plus 1 then we have square root of x plus 1 and here we have square root of x plus h plus square root of x right now this h and this h get cancelled and uh, when we compute the limit uh, now we can uh, substitute h is equal to 0 in the denominator so now we have 1 over uh, square root of x plus 0 and x plus 0 is simply x and here we have 1 and then we have a square root of x plus 1 here this is the, the term and when we take h tends to 0 here uh, we have square root of x plus square root of x because this is x plus 0 which is simply x. So now this expression uh, reduces to here we have a square root of x plus 1 times a square root of x plus 1. Uh, which is a uh, square root of x plus 1 square and here a uh, square root of x plus the square root of x is 2 times square root of x right so uh, this is the uh, derivative of uh, this function uh, using the first principle or using the uh, limit definition of uh, the derivative